my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. This is one of my favorite palettes ever and I just want to use it on my channel again because I know the Jaclyn Hill vault collection is gaining so much attention right now but we all have to remember where that vault collection started from. It started from this palette right here. I think it's still an amazing palette. It's a must-have for me. And yeah, I'm just obsessed with the colors, the blendability, the pigmentation. It's all there. And I know everybody and their dog knows about this palette, but I just wanted to do another tutorial with it so everyone can remember it and continue to use it because it's a go-to staple item for me. But yeah, if you want to see how to get this makeup look, then of course, just keep watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do, of course, is prime and set my eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to do that really quick. Now I'm going to be going into the Jaclyn Hill in Morphe palette. This is a very popular palette, so I'm sure you guys all know. Actually going into this shade right here, I've never used it. It's in the shade Creamsicle. I have never used this shade before, and I'm like, mm, that's a really pretty transition shade. I'm in it. Let's use it. I do use this palette all the time. I just feel like it's such a good palette to use on the daily. It has pretty much every shade that you will ever need in it. And it's just so creamy and so blendable, it's so pigmented. I love that shade on my eyes. Plus these shades barely have like any kick up. So that's also awesome because you're not wasting a whole bunch of product. Okay, now I'm just going to give my brush a little spritzy. And then I'm going into this shade right here. It's called Hustle. It's just a kind of purpley gray shadow and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. That is stunning. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think I've ever went into this shade either. I am just really being outside the box today. Now I'm going into this shade right here. It's at the shade Roxanne. It's just like kind of a brick red. And I'm putting that on my outer V. And I'm slowly blending this into the crease, but I'm first just building out the outer V and kind of just the rest of the product that's on my brush, I'm blending into the crease. Okay, now I'm going back into Creamsicle right here and I'm just gonna kind of buff out the outer edges because I do want this color to still be seen because it's stunning. I just want to deepen out the outer V a little bit more, so I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's called Buns. She comes up with the funniest names, but literally just putting it on the outer V just to deepen it up a little. So next, I'm going to be putting a glitter line on my crease. I have been in that trend so much and I've been loving the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Arts. They are so pretty and they last a long time. This one is in the shade Steel Spark and I just got this one. It's like a silvery purple so I'm going to be putting that from my inner V and bringing it like halfway. This is just a great dupe for the Stila liquid eyeshadows. Why am I doing this? Isn't that so cool? I love this. So I will never get my hair caught in it because it is bladeless. That is so amazing. 
So for my face, I'm gonna be going into the Touch and Soul No Pore Blim Primer. I have a slight obsession with this primer, I think. It makes my makeup last all day and it just gives me a very smooth base to put my foundation on. And it's a little bit tacky, which I really like. I mainly use this primer when I'm using a matte foundation because when I use a matte primer and a matte foundation, I tend to look a little cakey and it starts to break up a lot faster throughout the days. So I like to use this because it's not mattifying, it's just a nice base for anybody whether you're oily or dry. And then I'm going into this foundation, it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation which is a matte finish. I'm actually going to be using a different sponge today, it's by Eco Tools. It's the Perfecting Blender Duo because it came with two sponges. And these are what it looks like, they're both wet already. To me they kind of look like a dupe for the Morphe sponge. And they do feel really spongy which is what I like. The only problem with this one, because when I got it wet for the first time today, and I squeezed it out, it like squeezed out all this teal dye. So that kind of threw me off a little bit because I never had that happen before. So when I did this and I squeezed it out, there was no like green that came out of it. So hopefully that's the only time it'll have like teal dye come out of it because that was just a little weird for me. But that's how much I put on my face and it's gonna cover my entire face. Cause that's how full coverage this is which is why I use it for important events because first off it is full coverage and it lasts all day and all night. I never have to touch up with this. And I am going out tonight so I thought it was the perfect foundation to use. And then I'm gonna use the small one to blend out my concealer. It did seem to blend out my foundation really nicely. I look so white in my viewfinder, but I promise it's like a pretty good shade match. Since I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, I thought I would use the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer for underneath my eyes. This is in the shade Fair Warm. And this is also a matte finish. All right, that sponge blended out my concealer really well. These sponges, really good. I'm impressed. Good job, Eco Tools. So now to set my under eye concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Primed Poreless Skin Smoothing Pressed Powder. And I love setting my under eye concealer with this because it's just so brightening and it just makes my under eyes look like so, so smooth. Set my whole face now. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Natural Beige. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the eyes and then we will finish up the face. I'm first gonna put a creamsicle all along my lower lash line. I have been just really obsessed with smoking out my lower lash line because to me it brings more attention to your face and that's actually a trick I learned from Jaclyn Hill also. She just smokes out her lower lash line. It looks a little crazy at first but it comes together. Now I'm going into this shade right here which is what we started with with the outer V and blended it into the crease. It's called Roxanne. I'm going to put that from my pupil outwards. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of buns and put that right on the outer corner and connect that to my lid shade. Alright, and for inner corner highlight, I'm going to be going into this one which is called Beam. Just putting that on the inner corners. Beautiful inner corner highlight. 
All right, so I just put on some mascara and falsies. For mascara, I use the Butter London Double Decker Lash Mascara. So let's finish this face. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. I am obsessed. Fly, I'm gonna kill you after this video. I swear, wherever you are, you're squished. I'm not really contouring, I just mainly want to bronze my face. For blush, I'm going to be using the Burt's Bees blush in Shy Pink. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. It is just so pigmented and it lasts all freaking day. I love this blush. Alright, for highlight, I want to be in tonight so I'm using the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlight in glazed donuts this is my favorite highlight of all time I'm just I'm obsessed now you know if I ever come up with a highlight you know what it looks like damn look at that shine oh my god we should just take a moment to love this highlight for a lip product, of course, I'm going into the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Midi. This is my favorite neutral lip color. It's like your lips but better. Oh, bitch, I am enjoying this look a lot. I love it. All right, that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you all really enjoyed it. I'm just obsessed with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Thank you guys so much for watching this Jaclyn Hill palette makeup tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you can see more videos when I upload. And subscribe down below. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!